Hello friends, uh, today we'll learn how to set up the products in Aptus CPQ system. Okay, I just installed all the packages that you can see the applications over here listed all the applications. So select this Aptus proposal management. Okay, and find the CPQ console tab. Just open it. Here you will see the product management, price management, tool management, all the things you can configure from here. Initially, we need to start uh, with the product setup. So I will open this add product tab in new window. Okay, and then you are able to see the basic information here. So to set up the product in CPQ, we need to add some more fields on layout. Let me edit the layout first. One is configuration type that we would require for family code and description. Uh, 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 okay, for a description already there. One more field I need to fetch out here is the icon. Okay, I'm just putting icon here and just save the record type. And save this layout. Okay, now I'm putting some product name here. Let's say Airtel Broadband. Okay, and the product, let's say Airtel Broadband 001. Word family, there is no family defined here. Okay. <coughs> Now we have to define the configuration type here. So there are three types of configuration are there if standard or bundle option and uh, the major difference here, I'm posting the link below this particular uh, video link and you can find out my blog and uh, see the difference all of these. Okay, and let's say I'm putting the description similar with similar to the product name and product family we need to define, okay. Let us define the board family quickly. Okay, go to the board family and define. Add some values here, like internet, paid, post, paid, and broadband. Okay, that's it. Let me save it. I can go back to the record, just save it and update the family. That's a problem. Okay, so let me up upload the icon as well. Just taking this sample screenshot, saving onto the mic and uploading the icon image here. So in this way, quickly change the icons. It will give the transparency and the visibility of your products uh, when you will configure in the products and add all these products into the cart. So it will come to know that this is the particular product and having this particular icon. So as per your requirement, you can set up the icon as well. So I'm just uploaded this icon here. Okay, so and the configuration type. So this is the standard line selected standalone. If you if you want to uh, standalone means whenever you sell out the any service or product uh, as a single uh, service and product as standalone means that a you are not including in any kind of bundle. Bundle means you, are, you have a certain option in that particular bundle. So for more detail, you can read out my blog. Uh, I have uh, mentioned all the things clearly there. So I'm keeping this video short and uh, only setting up the bundles. So for more detail, read to my blog.
okay so that's done and that's it uh, we are done with the product setup and after CPU next uh, tutorial will be regarding the uh, setting up the pricing of this particular product so till then thanks and bye bye